okay uh, now let's go through the contents of uh, this video uh, first I will explain what is artificial intelligence a brief introduction then I will uh, explain uh, the levels of uh, AI and then we will see the various applications of AI such as uh, in smartphones and AI in smart cars AI in UAVs or drones and then artificial intelligence in the social media and then AI in media streaming services and then AI in video games and we will see the artificial intelligence in the online uh, advertisement networks and then we will see the artificial intelligence in the navigation and travel and we will see uh, the how AI is impacting the banking and finance and then smart homes and smart appliances and artificial intelligence and security and surveillance and then we'll see the AI in the medical area and then we will see the AI uh, in various other uh, areas and in last I will explain uh, various branches of AI so let's start this video so now let's see uh, what is uh, artificial uh, intelligence actually uh, it's a branch of computer science which is uh, 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 it's a science of uh, making machines do things that would require the intelligence if done by man as said by the Minsky and uh, it is uh, exciting the new efforts to make computers things as said by the Hawkland and uh, it is the study of the computations that uh, make it possible to perceive reason and act as said by the Winston and then it's a study of uh, how to do things uh, which at the moment people do better by rich and night the term artificial intelligence was first coined in 1956 by john mccarthy at uh, mit now let's see the various levels of uh, artificial intelligence the first level of ai is known as the narrow ai and uh, an artificial intelligence is said to be the narrow when the machine can perform a specific task better than a human then the current research of uh, whole ai is uh, here right now and the next level is the uh, general ai so an artificial intelligence reaches the general state when it can perform any intellectual task with the same accuracy level as a human would so that means uh, when the computer uh, will reach to the same accuracy level as of human then we will call it as a general ai and the last one is a strong ai that means an ai uh, is a strong when it can beat humans in many tasks so obviously the second level and the third level are uh, far away uh, from the reality the most of the AI uh, current state of the AI is uh, under this category that is the narrow AI so let's see uh, what time will come when we reach to the second or the third state now let's see uh, the various applications of AI so the first device is the smartphone I'm taking and we will see that how the AI uh, is working in the smartphones so when we are using a smartphone we are interacting with artificial intelligence whether we know it or not let's see how so we have various uh, built-in uh, smart assistants uh, available in the smartphone for example uh, google's voice assistant so uh, i think you have uh, used it so when you say okay google or hello google it wakes up and it asks you to how can i help as you can see in this uh, image then you can start interaction with this voice assistant you can uh, ask it uh, uh, to uh, call a particular person uh, you can ask it to fix a meeting you can ask uh, uh, this voice assistant to find a place on a google map you can find you can ask uh, it to uh, play a particular music etc so lots of things you can uh, 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 do with this uh, voice assistant so similar voice assistants are also found in uh, uh, various other uh, smartphones and they are developed by various other uh, companies such as uh, Apple. So Apple uh, has developed Siri, uh, there is another uh, a smart assistant, uh, Bixby by Samsung and uh, Zhao AI by Xiaomi. 
and then Cortana by Microsoft uh, of course uh, that is not in smartphone uh, uh, it is for PCs and uh, then Alexa uh, of Amazon so Alexa uh, is a very famous uh, you might have uh, seen various advertisement in TV or you might have actually used uh, these uh, standalone uh, devices uh, Alexa devices so uh, you can interact with Alexa uh, such as uh, you can ask it to uh, play a particular song you can ask it uh, to do a particular things when it is uh, uh, combined with other hardware such as uh, uh, lights fan etc you can give commands to operate them uh, now uh, another thing is the camera uh, which heavily uses artificial intelligence let's see how so uh, the one thing is uh, when we take portrait mode uh, with a single lens okay uh, with a single lens then uh, AI uh, uh, plays its role generally uh, you find a two camera setup uh, in mobile phones for taking such portrait mode portrait mode actually means uh, human face is highlight while the background is uh, blurred as you can see in this photo so in two camera setup actually one camera is the main camera while other camera is used for uh, depth so uh, such photographs uh, can be captured with uh, these two camera setup uh, but what happens uh, if there is only a single camera it's still you have seen that various uh, phones are able to uh, capture this portrait mode uh, photo with a single camera so this is done actually with the help of AI uh, where artificial intelligence actually uh, uh, locate the human face and then it uh, identifies the uh, uh, edges and then it uh, uh, blur all the non faces objects like this so here AI uh, uh, is playing its role and the second thing is uh, the camera setting optimizations based on the scene so this is uh, extensively uh, being used by the mobile phones right now uh, you can see that uh, generally uh, various mobile companies uh, advertise their phone uh, with the uh, that they, they they have the camera with the ai i mean the ai camera in the phone so this is what uh, they actually mean uh, generally uh, based on the scene the camera setting is uh, uh, optimized i mean uh, if you are taking a photograph of uh, food or photograph of a, a room or photograph of a flower or a photograph of some natural scene so based on the contents of uh, that scene the camera settings are automatically adjusted by the artificial intelligence so we can get the uh, best photograph uh, uh, from these settings so these settings are such uh, such as uh, exposure shutter speed iso level or uh, camera focus and uh, camera aperture etc so this is another uh, example of uh, use of ai by mobile phones now let us see the smart cars so we have the example of the tesla of alan musk uh, uh, this has advanced uh, driver assistance i mean these uh, cars uh, have the capability uh, of lane centering uh, they have adaptive cruise control they have the ability of the self parking and they can automatically change lanes and they have ability uh, to uh, park uh, these cars uh, in the parking and you can call them uh, from the parking or garage uh, to your point of call so these are very intelligence car powered by a artificial intelligence another one is these uh, driverless or self-driving cars uh, the Waymo uh, uh, is a uh, development company it is a subsidiary of uh, Alphabet Incorporation you know what is Alphabet uh, which is actually the Google so Waymo originated as a project of Google before it became standalone subsidiary in December 2016. So it's a uh, driverless car uh, uh, which uh, obviously extensively using artificial intelligence. Now we have the drones uh, which are known as the UAVs or unmanned aerial vehicles. So I have taken one example of this uh, unique Typhoon H Pro. There are various other such project, uh, products available in the market, but I found it uh, found this one very impressive. Uh, it has uh, advanced obstacle sensing, 
I mean, uh, it has, uh, it can sense the obstacle, so it can avoid itself. Collision and uh, it has an auto takeoff and landing facility. And one good thing I found is that uh, the auto return to home facility and follow me. So if you uh, uh, give the XY coordinate, I mean the longitude latitude coordinate of your uh, home and uh, you just leave this drone at somewhere, it will automatically uh, return to uh, your uh, uh, target area and it uh, it can follow you also when you activate this command so if you move it it can uh, just uh, fly uh, behind you and it, uh, it can follow you and uh, these are of course uh, very advanced uh, technology that is uh, using artificial intelligence so this figure you might have seen uh, which is uh, known as the mq9 reaper uh, that is used by the US Air Force. It's a drone, uh, which uh, uh, obviously it's an unmanned vehicle. Uh, it has both facility actually. It's autonomous as well as you can control it by the remote. So this is uh, actually one of the state of the art example of uh, uh, UAVs or drone. And uh, the companies like uh, Amazon and Walmart are uh, uh, heavily investing in drone delivery programs uh, of their product and let's see when it will come in the reality now let's see the social media so everybody nowadays uh, i can say addictive to these social medias i'm in the youtube uh, twitter snapchat instagram facebook and let's see the how ai is working here so if we are using these uh, social media sites the most of our decisions are being impacted by the artificial intelligence. So from the feeds, uh, which you generally see on your timeline and various notifications that we receive from these apps, everything is curated by the AI. So AI takes uh, all our past behavior. It observes our behavior, uh, the searching patterns, our interactions and everything else uh, that we do on other websites. And according to uh, our interest, uh, it tailors the experience just for us. Uh, the sole purpose of AI uh, here is to make the app so addictive so that we can come uh, back to them again and again. Now let's see the media streaming services. A oh, lot of people are uh, using these media streaming services uh, such as uh, Spotify, Netflix, uh, Amazon Prime, YouTube, everywhere ai is making decision for us uh, actually the recommended video section on youtube uh, has become so good at knowing our taste that's really scary so you might have actually experience when you open your youtube on your mobile phone uh, you can experience that uh, videos which you see on the first page uh, they all are related to your interests. Generally, uh, the videos are of those categories which you uh, very often explore them. So this is how the YouTube uh, in the background is uh, actually monitoring our searching behavior. And according to that, uh, it is offering uh, various videos. So next time when uh, you are hitting uh, play on a recommended video on YouTube or watching a recommended show on the Netflix, or you are listening to a pre-created list uh, playlist on the Spotify or any other social media or any music streaming services. Remember, the AI is playing the big role in that and is working in the background. Now let's see the video games. Actually, the video game industry is uh, probably one of the earliest that adopted artificial intelligence. For example, the OpenAI 5. Again, uh, which is uh, uh, from the Elon Musk, uh, it has uh, uh, the game Dota 2. So where uh, the artificial intelligence uh, uh, can beat uh, you in many one-to-one uh, -one matches and also uh, beating amateurs uh, Dota 2 teams. Also, uh, when uh, you are playing uh, various games such as uh, CSGO, PUBG, uh, Fortnite or Call of Duty, uh, actually you are essentially start against a couple of AI powered bots. Uh, generally when you play PUBG, you can see various uh, bots are there and they are uh, attacking on you, but uh, 
of course you can see that in uh, PUBG the bots are not uh, so strong AI uh, but they have some little sense uh, and uh, after removing them uh, then we start playing against the real players so in Call of Duty mobile versions again uh, you have several bots but uh, when you play the PC version etc you can see uh, it was really very very tough uh, to beat this uh, AI powered uh, bots in uh, Call of Duty so the many, many times they can kill you easily now the online ad industry or product recommendations so it's uh, one of the biggest users of artificial intelligence uh, uh, actually the AI uh, is used to track our uh, not only the statics but also uh, the server's uh, advertisement based on those statistics. So without AI, the online uh, advertisement industry will just fail and it would show the random ads to the user with no connections to their preferences or interest. So actually, uh, the artificial intelligence continuously monitors our uh, shopping behavior. Uh, when we go to the e-shopping websites such as Amazon, Flipkart, etc., uh, the AI agent continuously monitor us. So next time when we go to the online and seeing ads or product recommendation, then know that AI is impacting our life. For example, if you go to uh, uh, Amazon, for example, to search uh, uh, for a computer mouse, then uh, you spend there some uh, five minutes or 10 minutes in searching various mice then when you return to some another website then you can see that uh, those search items are also being uh, uh, seen on advertisement window on different websites so it it is clearly evidence that uh, the ai of amazon monitored your interest in particular products and after that when you jump to the another website uh, it offers uh, the same uh, products again and again so that uh, you will be attracted and then definitely after some time you will come back uh, uh, to uh, the Amazon so this is uh, how the AI is working in attracting the customers now let's see the navigation and control uh, whether you are using Google or Apple Maps for navigation or calling in taxis or booking a flight they we are using AI so when you are calling an Uber, both pricing and the car that matches your right request is decided by the AI. So both Google and Apple uh, with other navigation services use AI to interpret hundreds of and thousands of data points to give the real time traffic on their map. So if you use Google map, you can see uh, that uh, real time traffic is also highlighted with those green, orange and uh, uh, brown lines so that uh, data uh, collection is uh, also impacted by the uh, AI now let's see the banking and finance so the banking and finance industry heavily relies on artificial intelligence for uh, things like customer services fraud protection and the investment and many more so a simple example is an automated emails that we receive from banks when we do uh, an out of the ordinary transaction so that's AI is watching over our account and trying to warn us for any fraud AI is also being trained to look at the large samples of the fraud data and find a pattern so that we can be warned before it happens to us uh, one very uh, common example is of uh, use of AI is to predict the market trends uh, so it uh, it becomes easier for us to find the avenues of better investment so here the time series uh, analysis and time series prediction uh, generally comes in the picture so now let, let's see the smart home devices uh, actually there are uh, various uh, smart devices such as smart thermostats i mean your smart air conditioner uh, that adjusts the temperature based our, on our preferences so that means uh, uh, lots of time these smart AC actually uh, uh, learns our uh, set uh, temperature setting behavior and after some time there is no need to set the temperature again and again it will automatically uh, adjust the temperature depending on the uh, surroundings and uh, depending on our uh, choice 
and the smart home devices continuously learn from our actions and preferences and they update themselves as i said uh, to give us the preferred services so for example the smart lights that change the color and intensity uh, based on the times and surrounding or our lighting for example the smart music system which can detect our mood let's say by facial expression and then play music accordingly now let's see the security and surveillance uh, it is not possible for the humans to keep monitoring multiple monitors with the feeds from hundreds of the cameras. Suppose there is a control room and uh, it has a very hundreds of the screens uh, which are, are streaming from hundreds of the cameras. So for a pupil, it is not possible to look each and every screen and uh, to monitor every activity. So here the AI can play a big role. So AI makes the perfect sense with the technologies like uh, object recognition, facial recognitions. Uh, for example, uh, you can install a camera uh, in an organization or in a public place such as airport or railway stations uh, where it is uh, not only uh, recording the video but uh, at the same time it is uh, observing the human faces. It is recognizing the human faces, uh, making a database continuously updating and it can also find the behavior of a particular person uh, that how often uh, he or she visits a particular place etc and even uh, the ai powered camera can detect the suspicious human actions i mean whether human uh, is going to uh, some suspicious activity for example such as uh, theft uh, the ai powered camera can also detect uh, let's say uh, fire uh, in a scene now let's see the medical area uh, the, we have the AI-assisted uh, robotic surgery, uh, the one study that involved uh, 379 orthopedic patients uh, found that AI-assisted robotic procedure resulted in five times fewer complications as compared to the surgeons operating alone. So that is uh, one good thing that uh, uh, AI gave better result uh, uh, than the doctors. Now we have the virtual uh, nursing assistants. Uh, obviously, they are available 24 by 7. They can answer your queries uh, and they can monitor the patients and uh, they can provide quick answers. So we have the uh, clinical judgment or diagnosis. Uh, Stanford University, for example, uh, study, uh, tested an AI algorithm uh, to detect the skin cancers against dermatologists and it performed at the level of the humans. Uh, uh, we have uh, various uh, data available with us. For example, uh, we have uh, brain CT scans, uh, we have the uh, various uh, uh, x-rays, etc. On the basis of that, uh, we can uh, make uh, an AI system uh, which can, uh, uh, based on the input data, it can diagnose that what type of disease uh, we have. And generally, uh, we have uh, made uh, some AI systems uh, uh, which are at par uh, with the human uh, capability. So we have uh, image analysis, as I said. Uh, for example, uh, we uh, patients can use their camera phones to uh, send the pictures of uh, uh, some uh, some of their problems, such as rashes, cuts, or braces, uh, to determine what care is necessary. I mean, some expert system is there in mobile phone and it can uh, identify uh, your uh, illness and uh, it can suggest a particular treatment. Now let's see uh, uh, if uh, we are talking about the medical areas, uh, obviously we cannot uh, uh, forget this COVID-19 pandemic in the current time. The whole world is suffering with this and uh, millions of people are suffering worldwide. So let's see the, how uh, AI is helping us uh, to fight against this COVID-19 pandemic. So uh, we have the AI-assisted uh, diagnosis system. So many organizations uh, claim to have the successfully used artificial intelligence to diagnose COVID-19 from the CD scans of lungs, uh, which is a much faster diagnostic solutions uh, that the sputum test currently being used. And uh, researchers have also developed an AI model that can predict whether someone is likely to have COVID-19 based on their symptoms. 
Also, uh, with AI, we can do the effective monitoring. So AI-based tools offer available solutions to automate monitoring of patients' parameters such as heart rate, temperature, blood pressure, oxygen, saturation, etc. And also the mass screening is possible with AI. So as I said, we uh, can uh, uh, place the cameras on the public places uh, to monitor uh, the uh, the temperature, body temperature uh, or changes uh, while they are on the move. So we have the AI powered cameras uh, installed on various uh, public places. And there are a few companies, uh, they have built these uh, AI based solutions. Also, uh, AI helped us a lot uh, in finding the medical solutions against COVID-19 virus. So AI helped actually uh, to, uh, to find the best combinations of uh, medicines. Uh, based on its RNA structures to kill it either or stop it, its growth, and and actually which is uh, helping us to uh, uh, making the vaccines or effective medicines right now. Uh, now let's see various other areas where AI has uh, impact. So we have uh, the email filters you might have seen. Uh, there are various categories uh, such as uh, shopping, main or spam folder, etc. So when your email comes based on uh, its contents, uh, the artificial intelligence uh, separates them and put them uh, to the relevant folders. Uh, we have the smart replies uh, available in the emails and we have various reminders. Now Google search engine and Google's predictive search is one more example. So you can see this figure. So when you type something to search in the Google, then uh, it gives uh, suggestions. Okay, so most of the time they are very accurate. So that is again powered by the artificial intelligence. Uh, another very uh, uh, popular field is the NLP, that is the natural language processing. So we have various chatbots, that means automatic chatting uh, we do generally uh, uh, with, with these chatbots and then uh, we can make a summary of a text uh, with this NLP, I mean AI powered and then uh, we can have a questioning, answering uh, and then translation etc. And uh, there is a text to speech and a speech to text that can be also big by artificial intelligence. And one more uh, important is the defense area, as I have already explained in the uh, in the field of the drones. Uh, drone is one thing. Other than uh, uh, other than drones, there are many things to do uh, in the defense area. For example, understanding the satellite images. I mean, for object recognitions, the target recognitions that which has to be destroyed, and we have some smart bombs. Uh, which generally uh, work on the images of the targets uh, such as the SPICE 2000. Uh, they do not work on uh, uh, laser or GPS, they work on the images and videos of uh, the target. So these are a uh, few uh, applications. So AI has uh, extensive use, uh, uh, an extensive impact uh, in our life. So now let us see the various branches of uh, artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence, as you can now uh, think that it is really, really a very huge area, uh, which has many branches. The one very, very popular uh, is the machine learning, uh, ML, uh, which has further branches such as the deep learning, supervised and supervised learning. Uh, the deep learning again is a very popular uh, which utilizes the strength of uh, deep neural networks uh, such as uh, convolutional neural network and other types uh, which is known as the CNN and uh, as I said NLP uh, natural language processing it's another more uh, popular branch uh, which has the content at extraction classification translation questioning answering text generation etc and uh, it, it has one branch that is expert systems. I mean, uh, on the basis of your symptoms or question answers, it can suggest the solutions. And uh, one branch is uh, uh, vision, computer vision, uh, which has the capability of the image recognition uh, and uh, which uh, mimics the human vision system. And uh, then uh, related to the speech, as I said, the speech to text or text to speech, 
and then plannings and the robotics so ai is uh, very popular nowadays and it attracts uh, uh, students uh, and uh, people to uh, study about the ai so uh, one based on the uh, your interest and choice you can uh, go through uh, any of these brands to have the expertise so in my coming videos i probably uh, go to uh, the machine learning and i will show you uh, with a few examples then uh, how you can uh, use the deep learning uh, for object recognition okay so uh, that's it for this video i really really thank you all for watching this video uh, and uh, please uh, wait for the next video uh, till then goodbye